Hey there, so this news is a couple of days old, actually it's a couple of weeks old. I meant to do this a little bit sooner, but this was really interesting and I really want to bring this to you. This is an article from the Smithsonian Magazine titled, Drought Reveals Rare American Lion Fossil in Dried Up Mississippi River. It's written by Sarah Kuta. This was November 21st, 2022. But before we get into this, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. It tremendously helps the channel. I would just, I would appreciate it so very much. You know, I've been definitely struggling lately, and and that algorithm, it's it's uh it's not treating me kindly. I need your help, please. And if you uh, have any suggestions for the channel, I would love to hear them. Now, let's go ahead and get into this. While exploring a newly exposed sandbar in the drought-stricken Mississippi River, Wiley Pruitt spotted something black sticking out of the sand. Now, before we delve into this a little bit further, please keep in mind, if, you, if this inspires you to go out and collect on the Mississippi River, I would tremendously appreciate it if you go with a friend. You know, again, be safe, be legal, and be prepared. I really don't want one of y'all disappearing, <laughs> you know, being drug under by, you know, a wayward limb or car or something to be on my conscience. Please be safe and know that, you know, don't just swim in the Mississippi River. Take precautions. Be careful of your footing, be careful of where you're going, and be alert. Let's get back into it. Upon closer inspection, Pruitt realized uh, the find was a tooth, and a big one at that. He suspected it belonged to a carnivore, but decided to take his discovery to a Mississippi Fossil and Artifact Symposium and Exhibition event and asked the experts there for confirmation. Paleontologists now say the tooth, which is attached to part of a fossilized jawbone, once belonged to a large American lion, Panthera atrox, a species that has been extinct for roughly 11,000 years. The big cats prowled through North America during the Pleistocene, first appearing at least 340,000 years ago. But fossilized evidence of their existence in the eastern United States is extremely rare. Pruitt's tooth is just is now just the fourth specimen found in Mississippi. Coincidentally, the fossil and artifact event had been featuring the previously discovered American lion fossils when Pruitt walked in with this new find. George Phillips, curator of paleontology at the Mississippi Museum of Natural History, described this real scene to McClatchy News' Mark Price as one of those true moments where you blink a couple of times because you can't believe your eyes, and trust me, I've experienced many of those in my life. Scientists estimate American lions were roughly 25% larger than today's African lions per the National Park Service. That's a big kitty. That is a real big kitty. That's, that's a, that's a big kitty. I'd pet it. Once. They stood four feet tall at the shoulders and measured five to eight feet in length. That is big kitty. Some of the biggest American lions may have topped a thousand pounds while others weighed between 500 and 800 pounds. Because the American lion is just a different subspecies, but the same species as the African lion, it would have looked like a larger version of the African lion. Uh, says Kate Lyons, ironic. <laughs> Paleoecologist at the University of Nebraska to Newsweek's Pandora Dodoin? Dodoin? Hmm, that's a name. However, we don't know whether or not it had a mane like African lions, as preservation of things like skin or hair are very rare in the fossil record, and that's true. I want to say, and I, I it was a similar species to it, but there was a very rare, I want to say a Kylosaurus or a similar species to Ankylosaurus that was discovered uh, in extremely well-preserved condition because of, of how it was fossilized, and, and that was an explosive find in the community uh, a few years back. Yeah, hair, skin, you know, anything like that is just extremely rare in the fossil record. Uh, experts hope Pruitt will share his find with a museum or lab collection for further study, but so far he hasn't mentioned his plans for the tooth. Uh, Pruitt, who is from Oxford, Mississippi, made the discovery near Rosedale, a small town on the Mississippi-Arkansas border, about 140 miles northwest of Jackson. 
but up and down the typically mighty uh, the typically mighty river, drought is causing the waters to dry up. Low water levels are delaying barge traffic and threatening drinking water in some places. They've also revealed the remains of a hundred plus year old ferry and a more modern sunken casino boat. I don't know if you all have ever seen it before, but in Kansas City there is a an exhibit for the what's called the Steamboat Arabia, and I want to say that it sank on the Missouri River, but because the Missouri River, its uh, path had changed, it was found in a farmer's field. And they're still, I think, pulling pieces up from that. And so much of it was still intact. Like, there was preserved food that was still edible. If you're ever in Kansas City, look for the Steamboat Arabia exhibit. I think the only casualty on the boat was a was a donkey, and I remember as a child being very upset at that. Uh, carrying on. The river basin really needs rain, that's no joke. Right now we're getting a lot here, which thankfully we really needed it. But meteorologists are predicting another dry winter with warmer than normal temperatures in southern and eastern regions as the country enters a third straight year of La Nina. Across the lower Mississippi Valley, we are favoring continuation of below normal precipitation. Uh, gone, John Gottschalk, chief of the Operational Prediction Branch of the N uh, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's Climate Prediction Center, tells Reuters, Carl Plume, that would certainly, if the prediction is realized, lead to continued low water levels and exacerbate drought conditions there. This was a really interesting article, I just wanted to bring you guys a little bit of news. I meant to do this a couple of weeks ago around Thanksgiving, but Thanksgiving kind of carried it up. If you'd like to see more content like this, where I bring you news articles and, and geology related news, please let me know. I'm trying to find my way in this YouTube world, <laughs> and I seem to be struggling with it. I need your help. Anything you can give me would be fantastic. And um, look forward to my next state-by-state -state video. It will be Georgia. If you haven't seen the first, uh, first couple of them, there's a playlist on my channel. I also have a contest going on right now as well. Links will be in the descriptions and any other relevant information. As always, thank you so very much and you have a wonderful day.